Backseat Coaches presents WWE! Brackets S. Do you want to start with names this week? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, why yeah. not? Go, yeah. go for it. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. This week, you've got a Game of Thrones theme. Ooh, I almost went Game of Thrones. Did you? I almost did. A lot of it around, isn't there, at the moment? There it's in is, the news yeah. quite a bit. It's coming up soon, isn't it? It's quite exciting. And I'm not going to be able to watch it. It's on, only on Sky Atlantic, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to watch it either, technically. <laughs> <laughs> there are no ways and means, Benjamin. <laughs> okay, well, to get us in the mood anyway, to get you excited um, or disappointed now, I guess. <laughs> We've got a Game of Thrones theme. You can be Ned Stark raving mad. You can be Tyrion Lannister and look. Because <laughs> you'd need him, wouldn't you? You'd need a good stern look. <laughs> You're going to be a wrestler. Or you can be Cal Drogo's knackers. I see what you've done there. <laughs> oh, that's nuts, wasn't he? Um... I'm going to go for stern look. You like Tyrion Lannister stern look. Very good. Um, that was my favourite one too. <laughs> <laughs> you have, uh, there is a theme of mine this week. Oh, unusual. Sports films. Oh, I see. Yep. After our midweek episode last week. I was inspired. Yes. You can be Field of Bad Dreams. Oh, oh, that's not bad. The Strongest Yard. Oh, young, longest. Longest yeah. yard. Yeah, I got it. I got where you're coming from. Or in your personal space, Jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. I like, I like that one. <laughs> Again, it sounds more like a knight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not the sort of knight I'd want to go to, though, to be honest. <laughs> oh, very good. Come on then, Tyrion. What have you got for me this week? Well, Mr. The Jam, <laughs> um, I've gone horse racing. <laughs> Mr. The Jam, you can't have that. <laughs> That's copyrighted. <laughs> Poor Well, I'll have you. <laughs> gone horse racing yes. uh, in honour of uh, Cheltenham. Cheltenham, yes. Which is currently going on. Yeah. But this is a slightly different horse race. Mm. Held in Siena, Italy. Okay. Held twice a year, 2nd of July and 16th of August. Nice. And dubbed... It's going to be hot. Where about yes. Siena, do you know? Uh, Tuscany, I think. That's south, right? Yeah. That's going to be roasting. I went to Italy last year in June, and it was like 35 degrees every day. So, horse racing in July it's and August. humid as well. Yeah, it is. Sticky. Yeah, it's going to be... Bad for horses. They're not going to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> they, they certainly are not. No. Oh well. Um, dubbed Italy's most dangerous horse race. Oh. This is the Palio. Palio. P a l i o. Okay. Or paleo. Palio. 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 Probably Palio. Palio. Uh, <laughs> the race takes place in Siena's Piazza del Campo. Very good. Which is nice. essentially the town square. Yeah. Uh, the Camp Town Square. Yes. <laughs> Covered in pizza. <laughs> what? Piazza. <laughs> oh. <laughs> camp people covered in pizza. <laughs> Is that what you're trying to say? Dates back to 1656. It's been going on a while. Nice. Only has 10 horses competing, mm. representing 10 of the city's 17 districts. Right. Why? Well, what's happened to the other seven? The only reason all 17 don't run at the same time yeah. is because they won't fit. Oh, I see. So, seven contestants are those who didn't compete in the previous race, and three drawn by lots. Oh, okay. So, three of last year's yeah. get back. Oh, so the winner of last year's might, well, is quite likely not to be racing yeah. this year. Interesting. That's one of those things that when it's traditional like this, I mean, you, you can do that, can't you? Yeah, you, you can just matter. be like, well, you had, you had to go last year, but for the next 10 years, you're probably going to be in the race. So <laughs> <laughs> people aren't so worried too much. Um, they race around three laps of the fan-shaped town square. Mm. It says fan-shaped. I had a look. It It's semicircle. 
<laughs> What's, what even is a fan? You mean like a? I guess it's a sem. Yeah, a but, fan is like a semicircle, isn't it? Basically, but it goes to like a point, yeah. doesn't it? Oh right, it and it's this, just flat, is it? At yeah. the bottom. Oh, well, um, they've lied then, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> How did you ever look at it? You look at it on Google Maps. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <that's> <laughs> good research. It's uh, unusual for you. <laughs> it is, but. I didn't believe it was fan <laughs> That's the one thing. The one thing that you took umbrage with. <laughs> oh, fan-shaped, eh? Oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> and I saw they were wrong. <laughs> well. Um, they, so, three laps of the fan-shaped town square. Yep. <laughs> fan-shaped in inverted commas. <laughs> Which is approximately 1,100 metres. The three laps are... Or uh, one lap is in total. Total three laps. The yeah. whole thing is about a kilometer. The each of the districts pick their jockey, but the horses are drawn by lots, and they race on a thick layer of dirt and turf, which is put down especially for the race. Oh, I see. I was going to say it's going to be cobbled, right? That's yeah, going to be good yeah, for hooves. Definitely hooves. Is. Uh, The race lasts about ninety seconds, but what? free race uh, procession can go on for about two hours. <laughs> Of course it can. I mean, they're Italian, aren't they? They love a bit of fanfare. And <laughs> That's exactly what it said in the article. Did it? <laughs> Pretty well, much I'm, word for uh, word. I'm just as racist as that book you've got. <laughs> um, 30,000 spectators pack into the middle of the square Whoa. to watch the race occur around them. Whoa. And then, like... Well, it's only 300 metres wide, isn't it? Yeah. 300 metres round. How do they get 30,000 people in there? That's incredible. <laughs> they must be like piling on top of each other. Yeah. The first horse over the line is the winner, with or without the jockey. <laughs> right. Is that... No, I'm assuming now that this is a common thing, <laughs> that they end up without the jockey. Yes. <laughs> uh, you can use whips, both for whipping your horse and for hindering other horses and riders. Whoa. It's like that Bushkazi thing. Yes. Yeah. You can pull and shove each other and deliberately block horses. Whoa. Wait, with your whip you can? Uh, or with, with your own horse? With your own horse. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not, they're not just like, not like regular horse racing where they're just going around in a circle. They're just like bashing into each yeah. other. <laughs> like, it's like wacky races. Essentially, yeah. On awesome. horseback. Um, so one year, a rider on the first corner mm. pulled the jockey of another district off their horse yeah. in doing so was a, unable to win the race himself but became a hero <laughs> what <laughs> why was he unable to lo- win the race uh, like because, to pull the jockey off uh, I think because to pull the jockey off he, he lost too much ground oh like, uh, he, so was he, never wasn't, gonna... he wasn't disqualified no. <laughs> <laughs> okay he was just not good enough but he became a hero for it yeah awesome <laughs> so um, just as good as Seeing your district win mm. is seeing other districts lose. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. <laughs> the most sex- successful rider ever is uh, Andrea Di Gortes mm-hmm. with 14 wins. Oh, that's a lot. The current leading rider is Luigi Bruschelli with 12, but he Ooh. claims 13 because his horse wants one without him <laughs> <laughs> you cannot claim that win <laughs> so he says he's got 13 wins and uh he said this in terms of like strategy once you know how good your horse is then you decide what to aim for either blocking your enemy or going for the win enemy but not both <laughs> <laughs> i love the word enemy in there as well not opponent <laughs> yeah not enemy fellow competitor <laughs> mortal enemy <laughs> So, if you're keen for some horse racing, I will see you in July and or August in Siena, Italy. It's a pair of dates. <laughs> Backseat Coaches presents WWE. Brackets S. <laughs>